of this delicious treat. I know it's a good day for many, mm -hmm. and you're probably thinking then the Wood County Fair when you're thinking yeah. about this too. Normally early August, normally. Right, but, but it's can, not August yet. Not yet, but you can get your hands on one of these famous porkaline sandwiches. Ooh. Tonight. Tonight, yes, we have Mary Hinkleman and Ivan Belleville from Belleville Brother Meats, yep. and you've grilled up something really tasty for us this morning. I love a good porkaline sandwich. Thank you. Tell me what's going on tonight. We have our annual um, cookout with um, the Belleville Brothers, and uh, we'll be cooking up the porkalines, and it's all to benefit the BG Boom Festival and Fireworks. We've been doing this for, we think, about 10, 10 years. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, so this is obviously a fundraiser to make a big boom. So talk about Thank what you. is the BG Boom? BG Boom Festival and Fireworks. So um, last year we started the festival portion, which will run from 4 to 9 p.m., and then afterwards people can get into place so they can watch the fireworks display. Mm -hmm. In Bowling Green at the fairgrounds and um, the tractor pullers property where they um, launched the fireworks from. Mm -hmm. So great community event mm -hmm. last year. Ivan and I it's were talking flooded, on the way. Flooded with people last flooded year. Flooded with people. It was so heartwarming. We try to make it free for everybody to come. There are food trucks, so if you want to pack a lunch instead of you, you can do this very economically um, to come out to BG Boom and everybody's included. We'll have bouncy houses, games. We've got some new community partners that have come on um, and they're gonna do games with the kids and it'll be just a fun, fun time. The community band will play at eight o'clock. Oh, wonderful. And in order to make this free uh, to the community, we gotta do a little fundraising and why not use a porcelain sandwich <laughs> to raise some money. So um, at the farmer's market tonight, downtown BG, people can come and grab a sandwich donation based though right it is mm -hmm. donation by donation and people are always so generous <laughs> they really are well they want to get their hands yeah. on one of these things because mm -hmm. they're like well, I can't wait till August right <laughs> I know Ryan's in there and he's like I haven't had one in a <laughs> too long of time I can't believe he's not out here you know grabbing these for yeah I'm sure he'll make them. he'll probably be there tonight <laughs> yeah yes, he always tonight. comes up uh, tell us what exactly is a porcaline sandwich so the porcaline sandwich is um, it's Bare bones, it's a sausage sandwich. Okay. okay. However, it's a whole hog sausage sandwich. Um, the seasoning recipe was developed by my grandfather in the oh, early 1900s. Um, didn't have the porcelain name at the time. Uh, over the years, we've worked with the Wood County pork producers and uh, uh, developed a seasoning for it. Mm -hmm. That seasoning, and we call it the porcelain sandwich mm -hmm. now. And uh, the pork producers actually, what they sell at the fair, a lot of the money that they raise for that, they in turn donate back to the youth exhibit exhibitors that exhibit swine at the Wood County Fair and other mm -hmm. animals. Um, so that's basically in a nutshell what, what the porcelain sandwich is. It's yeah. so good. Yeah, and why is it so important to, you know, have this kind of special event to do this ahead? What does it mean to you? Uh, it, we've been part of the Bowling Green community since 1912, our business has. Uh, so just seeing, you know, generations enjoying the same sandwich at this point uh, means quite a bit to us. And it also helps to raise the money, like she said, uh, for the fireworks. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I'm sure that's a tradition in itself too. Everybody loves that big night you head into Everyone. town. Mm -hmm. you have oh, the and it is. It's just like everybody getting to see their neighbors and friends and saying hello to the Belleville family because they're always they're always right there and <laughs> everybody wants to talk to the Belleville family. Now the first time, time I ever had a porcelain sandwich was with Ryan uh -huh. at the Wood County Fair and he said Amanda you got to put horseradish on it and I like horseradish but I thought interesting. I wouldn't have immediately like went there for the mm -hmm. sandwich. So I see that you have of course brought some this morning and I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna dig in. Yeah let's see how you dress this up Amanda. You know, I just <laughs> all I do is put just a little bit of horse that's, that's a lot it? of no, that's a lot of a lot. barbecue. That's a lot of horseradish but I'm I'm <laughs> gotta clear out the sinuses this morning. <laughs> no that's that's all I put on that's mine. all you do. You I just might go. put some mustard but I think I'm just gonna go with the horseradish today. Yeah you what ready? about just doing plain? Ready? That sounds like something you would do. Right? That's why I gotta <laughs> see if that's approved. If just going plain we go. authentic. Mm. Let's see. Mm. Mm. Is it everything well you remember it yes. to be? <laughs> so tasty. Tell us again where people yes, can get one of these tonight. Downtown Farmers Market in Bowling Green on the corner of Clough and Main Street, so. And what time does that market start? It will start at 4 p.m. and we'll go till 7, so don't come at 7 because we tend to, to sell, sell out. out. 
Yeah, we get yeah, as much we're ready as we can. For this. We're ready. We're ready. Yeah. I'm already Thank you both for coming morning. in and joining Thank us you. this morning. We'll take another bite. Oh, yeah, these pork leans. Amanda's got a lot of eating, <laughs> but we still have more good day yet to Dine. come. Stay with us. Breakfast. We'll be right back. <laughs> so good. <laughs>